time, the Muslims, they keep attacking Paul. And this is actually the topic of my video today. And I have surprise to the Muslims. I want to ask you the first question. And the first question is the following. Actually, it's a challenge. Show me once your prophet said something bad about Paul. Listen carefully, Muslims. Show me once, just once, your prophet. You see, Muslims have thousands and actually, if not millions of hadith. And they try to delete as many as they can because they are disasters. But I want from those minions one hadith from Muhammad saying something bad about Paul. You will not find any. Why? And I'm asking why, because simply, if Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and he know more than the Muslims, Muslims, they get their knowledge from who? From Muhammad. Muhammad has got his knowledge from who? From Allah. They never saw Paul. They never been with Paul. They have no idea who is Paul. How the Muslims today know that the one who corrupted Christianity is Paul, but Muhammad do not? I will tell you why. Because Muslims today, they are a bunch of idiots, and they are trying to find anything to attack Christianity. They could not. They are bankrupt. Because simply, even their prophet and their Quran and their seerahs and this had their hadith speaking clearly that Paul is the messenger of Allah. Actually, to be more accurate, he is the messenger of the Messiah. And I'm going to show you that from their books, showing you that Muslims are a bunch of ignorance. They are speaking against Paul when their books praising Paul. You know what I'm saying? Praising Paul. Not only speaking good about him, no. He is a great messenger of the Messiah. And that made the Messiah God, because God cannot make you a messenger. Nobody can make you a messenger, except God, right? You know, if, if the Messiah is not God, how the Messiah, he can send messengers. And they do miracles, and they believe in the Messiah. So, let us go to proofs and reference, better than making speeches. In the book of Al-Bidayah and Anihaya, and this is an Islamic website, 100%. This is Islam, uh, islamweb.net, and this is the book of Al-Bidayah and Nihaya, uh, uh, and the writer is Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> in, in Ibn Kathir, as we see in here, and I want Muslims to go and check the reference, you know, just to show you, we don't make things up. In page number 529, in the book of Al-Bidayah and Nihaya, variant number 2, it says that there is... Two witnesses, uh, the, the Kathir is saying, the one who wrote the Bible, there are four. Two of them, they were real witnesses of the Messiah, as we see in here. And they are Matthew and John. And the other two, they were a companion of the companion, and they are Mark and Luke, Marcos and Luca. And, uh, and, 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 and they are from those who believe in the Messiah. And he's speaking about the person, his name, and here, Adina which is a wrong name by the way. His name is Hanani, not Dina. But Muslims never get the name correct. Uh, he was one of the believers of the Messiah in Damascus, and he was hiding in a cave. Why is he hiding in a cave? Because he was afraid of from Paul. Mm -hmm. So and he continued, he says, uh, uh, and Paul, he was a Jew, and he was uh, unjust, hateful to the Messiah. He hated the Messiah. Uh, and when he came to his nephew, this is Paul now, he came to his nephew, he shaved his head, and he killed him. Why? Because he believed in the Messiah. Look, imagine what Paul is doing. But look what he's saying after that. When he went in Damascus, and he he, he saw the the, uh, the apostle of the Messiah, which means he want to kill them, an angel of God appeared to him, and he hit him in his face with his wing, and he made him blind. So when Paul, he saw that, he became a believer in Christ. In, in what? In Christ, not in Allah. Listen to me carefully, Muslims. Ibn Kathir is saying, in Christ, and that makes Christ God, because you don't believe in Christ unless he's God. You Muslims don't believe in Muhammad, you believe in Allah. Huh? So he, believed, he became a believer in Christ. And he apologized for what he did, which means against Christianity, apologized to, to Christ. Uh, and he believed in him so the Messiah he accepted him how you can believe in the Messiah unless the Messiah is alive right 
So the Messiah, the, the, uh, Paul, he believed in what? He believed in the Messiah. And he was accepted by the Messiah, which means the Messiah spoke to him, not an angel. But anyway, Muslim story. And he asked the Messiah to wipe his eyes, which means to give him vision again, because he became blind. Uh, so may Allah give him his vision again. So he told him, go to Dina, which means Hanania, uh, in, in, the, in the end of, uh, of uh, or in the side of Damascus, and he told him where, and he is going to ask uh, uh, for, for your recovery. So he came to him, and then it was given to him his vision. And then look what Abu Kathir is saying. And then uh, the, the, the faith of Paul became a great in the Messiah. So he became a great believer in the Messiah. And he became a slave of Allah and his messenger. And a church built with his name, and that church is called the Church of Bolos. Bolos in Arabic, by the way, is Paul. In Damascus, and uh, even, you know, the uh, even in the story in here, we see that the Islamic scholars, which mean enter the time of Rabbi Kathir, nobody mentioned Paul in a bad way. So Muslims are coming with those stories from where? From where Muslims are coming with those stories? Fabrication. Because Islam is religion of fabrication. And by the way, we can take this uh, uh, text, or we can translate as it is, just to show you I'm not making things up. Because Muslims, they might say, oh, this is not true. This is cannot be, you know, uh, etc. Hmm? And here I was showing that Muhammad, he used to have a white devil, and the white devil used to appear to him. Now, if we translate, if we translate this, you will see that he is saying he is saying exactly what I was translating to you. Uh, that there was two; they are they are real witness of Christ who saw him, you know. And those are namely Matthew and John, as you see. And in the end, you see the story of Paul killing his nephew and coming after after the Christians to Damascus to kill them. And in his way, an angel hit him with his wing. And he made him a blind uh, and uh, then he became a believer and he became a great believer in Christ so it's very obvious the books of Muslims and by the way we can see that too in the interpretation of chapter 40, uh, 34 verse uh, uh, number 14 34 or 36 let me see this way actually 36 forgive me <laughs> okay 36 verse number 14 it says that Paul was a great messenger of the Messiah who sent by the Messiah to the city of Antakya. And we read that in here, Ibn Kathir. This is an English translation, Muslim translations. And the word in here is Bolos. Bolos is the same as Paul. Like in our Bible in Arabic, we say Bolos. We didn't say Paul. So Bolos, and you will see that the strongest messenger of the Messiah is Bolos. And in here in Ibn Kathir, you will see that Ibn Kathir and the Muslim scholars admitted that he was a messenger of the Messiah who was sent to the people of Antakya, and that would make the Messiah what? God. Because you cannot be a messenger of Allah unless Allah, supposedly, if he's God, he made you a messenger. A messenger cannot make a messenger. A prophet cannot make a prophet. So when the Muslims admit that Paul is the messenger of the Messiah himself. That's mean Paul is a follower and worshiper of the Messiah. And this is a true faith of a Christianity. And Paul, he came with nothing except what Islam is saying about him being a messenger of the Messiah. And this is exactly what the Bible says, that Paul is the messenger of the Messiah. And in here, even Allah, he called him that he is a strong one. The third strong, we enforced him with the third. So he, uh, Paul was an enforcement for the church. Uh, Paul, he was enforcement for Christianity. And who is the witness of that? It's your God, you idiot Muslims, who keep attacking Paul. When Paul is a great man, 
And by the way, uh, what will make Paul a bad person? Did he say, a God gave me six years old girl to sleep with her? Did he say adultery is fine as your prophet says about Muta? Did he say kiss a black stone? Did he say pay me money? Did he say give me your women? Did he say any women she gave herself to sleep with me? I'm a great messenger of God. No, this is what your prophet did. And the list is long. Christ is Lord and Paul, his shoes is better than many. And you know I'm talking about who. See you with more videos. Thank you.